Hey everyone, my name is GamerCory and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we are going to be going over the same three things that we go over here every single day. And those include where you guys can actually find a Madame Nazar for today. The next thing that we're actually going to go ahead and discuss is the daily collection sets and their current cycles. And then last but not least, we're going to go over all of the daily challenges, the list, and then we're going to go over them in extensive detail. I don't know how much more I can like say that to everybody it is detailed information because it's designed for people that might be a little bit newer to red dead online so you guys might just have to skip through some of it if needed or if you just need to look at the list that's what we go over when we get to the daily challenge selection <clears throat> excuse me wait wait let's go ahead and move on to the uh madame nazar location and she's actually going to be uh, out west again, but not as far as Armadillo. She's going to be in the Big Valley right next to the Hanging Dog Ranch. This is where you guys will be able to find her here for today. If this is the only thing that you guys actually came here for today, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. A like definitely goes a long way here on the channel. It shows your support of these types of videos. It tells me that you want me to continue making this video every single day. And honestly, it just really helps me grow here on YouTube. So spend that two seconds and like and subscribe down below. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. And that's going to be talking about the different collection sets and their current cycles. Obviously, anything with the field shovel that you'd actually dig up with the field shovel is going to be a random dig site um which means that you might not get a full set every single day you might get three of the same ones so you need to make sure that you have enough space in your inventory in your satchel in order to carry however many more you might possibly pick up because if you hit 10 it might it's going to say that you're picking it up but it's actually not going anywhere and it's just a waste of your time and effort and that specific spot that you just got done digging up in my honest opinion Anyway, so these are going to include uh, the Lost Jewelry, which will be a part of cycle number three. The Arrowheads, which will be a part of cycle number three as well. Family Heirlooms, also a part of cycle number three. The Coins will be a part of cycle number two. And then the Fossils, which are exclusive to the PS4 as of right now, are going to be a part of cycle number two as well. All right, so the next four sets I'm actually going to go over. You don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them but you do need to be a collector in order to sell them so i definitely recommend getting that collector bag as soon as you possibly can anyway um so we got american wildflowers which there's three total sets every single day cycle number one the tarot cards will also be a part of cycle number one we have the antique alcohol bottles a part of cycle number three and the bird eggs will be a part of cycle number two for today all right, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing, and that's going to be going over the list of the daily challenges, and then we're going to go over them in extensive detail. So let's go ahead and get started. The list for the daily challenges include... We got one bears killed, or one bear killed. 5280 distance traveled on a mount with a posse member. One finished showdown in a shootout series. One lake sturgeon caught. Five non-player enemies knocked out. One other player photographed and then was visited Van Horn. Bounty Hunter, we got one bounty hunt completed with five minutes or more left. Three bounty targets hogtie with the reinforced lasso. And then two bounty targets tagged with tracking arrows. Trader roll, three camp stews eaten. One crypt special camp stew recipe completed. One, uh, seven medium animal carcasses donated to crypts. The collector roll, we got three collectibles found with a shovel. Three family heirlooms found. Three tarot cards found. Moonshine roll. Four moonshine served to other players at a bar. Two moonshine story missions completed. And then two times play with the band for two minutes. And last but not least, we got the naturalist roll. Five animal samples taken within ten minutes. Two legendary animals found using pheromones. And then three mountain grassland animal samples taken. All right, let's go ahead and move on to some information about these uh, daily challenges. You guys can actually earn 11 gold bars from completing these every single day. It's actually kind of funny. I actually got a message today that said that uh, daily challenges aren't the best way of actually earning gold. And I asked them what their what their favorite was and didn't even respond with showdowns. So I kind of found that fascinating that according to them, showdowns and 
daily challenges aren't the best way of earning gold. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. Like, those are like the two best ways of earning gold here at Red Dead Online. So, at least based on time and effort, anyway. So, let's... <laughs> You can earn 11 gold bars for completing the daily challenges every day. It would take you over 8 hours to do that just by doing the showdown alone. Over 8 hours. Let that sink into your, into your minds for just a second. 8 hours to complete 11 gold bars on showdown every single day. Now, you're obviously, you're not going to earn 11 gold bars. I don't earn 11 gold bars. There's been a couple days that I have, but not very often. Um, I probably, on average, earn anywhere between 3 and 5 gold bars per day and those are just completing the super easy ones that I can get done each and every single day. But you can earn a five gold bars from the daily general challenges and six gold bars from completing the daily roll challenges. In my opinion, it's easier to complete the daily roll challenges just because, well, one of the requirements in my opinion is to have all the different click or all the different roles and be at least a rank 10 in each of those roles. That would give you access to 15. And that means that you only have to complete nine every single day. So you have a leeway of six so you can pick the nine easiest ones that you want to participate in and then you can actually get that bonus and get six gold bars from completing the daily roll challenges the only real requirement is to make sure that you to get up to 11 gold bars is to make sure that you complete one daily challenge for at least 21 days in a row and then maintaining that going forward you can obviously complete more than just one daily challenge to maintain that but you do need to complete at least one going forward all right, let's go ahead and move on to the details of each of these. And there's a couple new ones that I saw in here today. Uh, not a bear killed. One bear killed. You guys can either go after the black bears or grizzly bears. I'm going to go and show you guys two different locations. One is going to be right by Manzanita Post. If you actually go a little bit like north along this area, you guys will find a grizzly bear typically between here and here. And then going to Aurora Basin, you'll also find black bears and grizzly bears hanging out in this area as well so honestly there's a lot of opportunities in that specific spot otherwise since uh Madanazar is actually up here and then you also have harriet's location up here as well there's actually a grizzly bear that will spawn right around here now you can find black bears around the uh san denis area like blue water marsh in the bayou so just keep your eyes open for them in that area if you guys really like to but Honestly, if I'm specifically looking for grizzlies or black bears, I'm either going to where I, the first two locations that I showed to you guys. Moving on to the next one, we got a distance of 5280 by mount with a posse member. So you will have to be in a posse and you will have to have that member on the back of your horse. or you're going to have to be on the back of their horse to get this one completed. And you guys should be able to get this one completed together. So you will have to be in a posse. That's probably a downfall on that one if you guys don't like being in posses. Uh, one finished uh, showdown and shootout series. So that's actually my favorite of the PvP, of the, sh of the showdown modes. Um, you just have to finish it. doesn't matter how well you do. You could actually just stand around and whatever. And you can get uh, up to 0.16 gold bars. And you can get 0.5 gold bars from just doing that. It'll take about 8 minutes of your time. Lake Sturgeon caught, obviously going to Blackwater is where you guys want to be able to catch the Lake Sturgeon. It's the easiest down there, in my opinion. And it's right across the street from the Butcher. So after you're done catching it, you can literally just walk across the street and drop it off and make $7.25. But this is the area right here that you want to find the Lake Sturgeon. And you want to use the special Lake Lure if you can, or at least the Lake Lure. Because it will track the bigger fish and only the bigger fish. And the Lake Sturgeon is the only big fish in that area. We got five non-player enemies knocked out. So getting into a brawl with them is what you guys want to do. You guys can go to any different locations. Now, I did see that Van Horn was on here. So actually doing this at Van Horn would definitely be pretty easy. And you just have to go there. And then once you get one knock out one person or go after one person, the, all, the whole town will start to come after you. So then as long as you can stay alive and not get shot and killed, then... You should be able to get that one done fairly quickly. And then one photographed another player. So if you're in a posse, then let them photograph them. But hopefully they will let you do that. And then you just return the favor. Otherwise, you can try to get closer to other players. But more than likely, you're probably going to get shot in the face if you try to do that. The bounty hunter roll. We got one bounty hunt completed with five minutes or more left. So basically, just do a bounty hunt as quick as you possibly can. 
Three bunny targets tagged or hogtied with a reinforced lasso. If you're a bunny hunter, you should have the reinforced lasso anyway. And then two bounty targets tagged with tracking arrows. If you guys don't have the pamphlet yet and you don't have money, save your money for something else because it's definitely not worth it in my opinion. Yes, this one does come up a lot, but here's the reason for it. Number one, in my opinion, it's not worth spending over $500 on a pamphlet that you're only going to get up to 0.5 gold maybe once a week, maybe twice at the most. The other thing, at least as of right now, a lot of the bounty hunter roll daily challenges aren't working so save your money buy something else and then buy it later when you guys have plenty of money and have bought the things that you guys want or whenever they actually fix that role so you can actually earn the daily challenges from it we got the trader roll we got three camp stews eaten um i recommend that you guys do have the camp stew so try to purchase that as soon as you possibly can it definitely has a couple different um reasons why you want it including that the camp stew is eaten and then creating Crypts is special stew. So you can get fortified cores by doing the special stew, or you can actually just add big game and you'll get fortified cores. But it's a free way of going either just right to your camp and actually getting the base quality stew for your character. So uh, these two can definitely go together today. You just basically, whatever recipe it wants you to get, make it. Um, you either can order the part or the, the ingredients through the catalog. Or you can go to a general store or a stable to get some of the ones that you might need. And then we got seven medium animal carcasses donated to Crypt. So that's going to be pretty much on anything on the sides of the horse. So you're looking at like rabbits, ducks, geese, Virginia possums, raccoons, things like that. Moving on to the collector role, we've got uh, family heirlooms, which family heirlooms will be a part of cycle number three, and then the tarot cards will be a part of cycle number one for today. And then three collectibles found with a shovel. Now, the tarot cards will obviously not require you to use the field shovel, but some of the family heirlooms will, but some of them they don't. If you want to guarantee that you're going to use the shovel, I would go after arrowheads or coins or the fossils if you're on the PS4. I, I'm pretty sure that they pretty much use the field shovel all the time. Moonshine and roll. I guess I don't know. I don't know it on PS4. If I'm wrong and the PS4 player is uh, watching, then correct me in the comments down below. The moonshine and roll. We got four moonshine served to other players at a bar. This can require you guys to be in a posse or even not in a posse. You can just invite some random person to the moonshine shack if you would like. And then serve them four drinks and hopefully they drink them. And then we got two Moonshine story missions completed. You can either go talk to Maggie and replay them, or if you haven't done them yet, then that's what you'll have to do. Or you can go into your start menu, progress, and then do them that way, and then just repeat them. They will take about 10 minutes, roughly, or more a piece to get those completed. So it's going to take you at least 20 minutes, minimum of 20 minutes, probably a lot longer than that, to get that 0.5 gold bar. But it's up to you what you guys would prefer to do. And then we got two times play with the band for two minutes. Um, the nice thing about playing with the band is once you start playing with them, you just you can walk away, you can grab a snack, a drink, whatever you want. And then last but not least, we got the naturalist roll. We got five animal samples taken within 10 minutes. And then obviously three of them can be mountain or grassland animals. So that's what I would try to focus on for today. And then you can focus on whatever other two you want. Getting five animal samples in 10 minutes is not that difficult. So these two, like I said, can definitely be done together. And then we got two legendary animals found with pheromones. I guess the best way that I would do this is I went strictly going and looking for legendary animals. I think it's a, honestly, it's a complete waste of time. I would do something in the area of the one that you might be looking for or wanting to get. Um, and then see if it finally shows up. If a question mark shows up on your screen on the mini map, then what you guys want to do is use the pheromones. However, these are like 20 to 25 bucks a piece. They're very, very, very expensive and you're not going to use them very often. Honestly, this is one I don't recommend that people do, but it's completely up to you. It's easy or it could be easy if you guys can find a lot of legendary animals, but you got, there's kind of two requirements. If you're spending a lot of money to get 0.5 gold, plus you got to waste your time and energy looking for the legendary animals. Yes, you could do the missions through Harriet um, and those could help you, but... It's possible. But anyway, that is all the daily challenges done, gone over, and covered. If you guys do have any questions regarding any of the daily challenges, then by all means, leave a comment down below because I'd love to be able to help you guys out if I possibly can. 
But if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.